So I just stumbled upon this new tool called WinBoat, and it runs Windows apps on Linux. Like, seriously, how cool is that? Wait, what? So it's like merging two completely different operating systems. That seems a bit ambitious, doesn't it? Absolutely. The idea is to integrate Windows apps seamlessly into your Linux setup, almost like they belong there. That sounds incredible, but doesn't that kind of assume everything will work perfectly? What if there are major hiccups? Good point. It is in beta, so users might run into bugs. They say you need to be comfortable troubleshooting. Bugs, huh? I wonder how user-friendly it actually is. Like, does it automate most of the setup? Yes, they highlight an elegant interface with a simple installation process. You just pick your specs and let it do the work. Interesting. That's enticing for non-techie users. But how does it handle compatibility issues with Windows apps? If it runs on Windows, it should run on WinBoat like a native experience. But I guess some could still crash or have glitches. That's unexpected. You'd think there DB limitations there. What about file sharing between the two systems? They've got that covered. Your home directory is mounted in Windows, so sharing files is hassle-free. That's actually pretty clever. So, you'll have that full desktop experience when needed. Exactly. You can switch between the full Windows desktop and individual apps seamlessly integrated. Now, what about system requirements? Sounds like it could be resource-intensive. Right, you need at least 4 GB of RAM, which isn't too bad, but still. And Docker is required for containerization, too. Docker can be tricky for some users. If they haven't used it before, it might be a barrier. True, and they might hit a wall if they're on non-supported container runtimes like Podman, right? Yeah, that could frustrate users. Have they mentioned any specific issues people might face while running it? They warn about issues with unsupported Docker desktop setups and rootless containerization. That raises a flag. What's the community feedback like, though? Are people excited or skeptical? A bit of both. They welcome contributions and feedback, which is a good sign they're open to improvement. Collaboration can be powerful, but I'm still skeptical about whether it'll really simplify things for users. I get that. It's innovative, but there's also a lot of juggling to do. Is innovation always messy? Totally, but that's how new tech gets refined, right? It's like beta testing in real life. Exactly, and seeing that evolution is part of the excitement. Plus, they've got smart card pass-through and more features coming. Nice. Those features show they're thinking of user needs. But I still wonder about long-term reliability. Yeah, and I wonder what happens if someone's trying to run heavy-duty applications like design tools. That could get tricky. High-performance apps on a workaround might not be stable. There's a risk factor. Right, and we should remember that this appeals to a niche audience, those comfortable with both Linux and Windows. Good point. It's about finding that sweet spot where those two worlds meet. But will everyday users want to dive in? That remains to be seen. If they market it well and provide enough support, it might catch on. But wait, isn't there a risk they could alienate some users with technical jargon or requirements? Definitely, clarity and communication is crucial. Users shouldn't feel lost before they even start. Exactly. I mean, if they manage that, the potential is massive for this type of tool. Really. Yeah, merging these platforms could redefine workspace flexibility. It would be revolutionary for productivity. It makes you wonder if this trend might push for a larger integration among OS systems in the future. For sure, if they figure out the bugs and users find it valuable, it could open doors for even more innovations. So could WinBoat be a precursor to a new era of software compatibility? That's kind of exciting, right? Absolutely, I love thinking about the possibilities. It's like we're witnessing history unfold. And who knows, this might lead to more collaborative platforms in the tech world. That could change everything. Right, imagine a future where user experience across systems just flows, but will users be patient enough during the hiccups? That's the million-dollar question. Patience is key in tech evolution, but it's not easy for everyone. Caught in that tech tug-of-war, right? But the excitement for innovation keeps drawing people in. And that curiosity can lead to groundbreaking changes. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Exactly, and that's what makes all this exploration worthwhile. Can't wait to see where it leads.